at least 2,954 building sites in Kampala Metropolitan were investigated by the Building Review Board and 138 sites were found using steel, timber, concrete composite construction method that was prohibited in 2022. The decision was premised on Section 42 of the Building Control Act, which gives me, as a minister, powers after consultation with the relevant authorities of the board to pro prohibit the use of building method or materials in building operations which we consider unsafe or which have been declared unsafe. And as you say, let the people not say we are refusing the use of timber, steel and concrete. No, it's the method which was being employed which we are refusing. The steel, timber, concrete, composite construction method had gained popularity in the construction industry on the basis that it is cheap and fast. You put the, 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 the timber down, pour your concrete, put a, a BRC on top, and then you have the, the roof, so to say, yeah, and the floor. Uh, because, the, the, you know, some of these constructions are doing storage construction, not even bungalows only. But they are going in for storage construction. Now, 138 building sites that were found using the method have been halted pending further investigations. According to the National Building Review Board, the steel, timber, concrete composite construction method is risky to the public because it has no clear guidelines. What were the findings? The technical committee from their analysis Find element, find element modeling, laboratory testing of materials, and a few tests of the existing STC sites confirmed the flaws and risks in the method of construction. And the key issues were these. One, lack of adequate engineering basis. Two, lack of composite action. Three, lack of consideration for utter resistance. Four, lack of hogging moment reinforcement in the slabs, five, very poor world connection, six, lack of specification of timber grids and properties in use. Concrete alone, slab, the slab they use 100 meters thick, weighs about 500 kilograms in a square meter, without the building being occupied, and it is being supported by connections which are sport well. We are sitting on a time it's a matter of time, these connections will give way. And we bothered, we even got an external resource to test the wells, just the connections. And one that the two the connections were tested. And of course, the recommendation by an independent person who was not even part of the technical committee was that 85% of those wells were unacceptable and had to be redone. The National Building Review Board, among other things, monitors the building developments with the aim to ensure safety for the public. Adia Nakote, UBC.